Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. I'm Jamie. And if you're here looking for some cleaning motivation, I promise I'm going to give it to you. Today, I'm going to be cleaning my whole house. Actually, throughout two full days, I'm going to be deep cleaning, um, doing cleaning some dirty stained bar stools. I'm going to be deep cleaning some couches, disinfecting and cleaning outside, cleaning all over my house and just getting it done. I'm even going to be cleaning one of my cleaning tools, my carpet cleaner, because you actually have to clean your cleaners as well. So by the end of this video, I promise I'm going to give you all of the motivation that you need to get up and get at least one thing done. We can do it. Let's do it. So I have a lot planned in today's video and I wanted to get a lot of cleaning done over these next two days all over my house but I also wanted to disinfect all of the garbage cans in my home because honestly when was the last time you cleaned all of the garbage cans in your home and actually disinfected them if you're like me you probably have no idea I don't remember for a majority of the garbage cans so I gathered all of them throughout my home um, mainly from the bathrooms and I was taking them outside to clean and disinfect. So this was going to be a two part cleaning. So I first hosed them down and then I was going to scrub them with some Dawn dish soap. Cleaning and disinfecting are separate. So I wanted to clean them first and then I was going to go in and disinfect them with some good old bleach, rinse them off and then they would be nice and clean. I'm kind of trying to get as much done as I can outside because here in Northern Ohio where I, wit I live, the temperatures are pretty mild and I know that's not going to last for too much longer. So you're gonna see me do some serious outdoor cleaning as much as I can in the next couple of weeks before it gets way too cold to be outside. So stay tuned for some serious cleaning outside as I prepare our house for the winter. And then the plan for this day one of cleaning was to deep clean my couches with my carpet cleaner, clean other parts of my kitchen, deep clean some bar stools that I offered to clean for a friend, and just get a lot done. And then on day two, I was going to be doing a lot more upstairs cleaning and actually cleaning my carpet cleaner so it can perform well.
Okay, so they're nice and clean now. I'm gonna let them dry just for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go and then disinfect them. So I followed the recommendations on the actual Clorox website and they said to put one third cup of bleach in about a gallon of water and scrub whatever you're scrubbing, let it sit for six minutes or so and then go and rinse it down. And I was planning on doing that with these garbage cans, going inside to do a few things and then coming back out to hose them all down. And I'm telling you, this is something that if you haven't done, then go do it now. It's the perfect time right now before flu season, not to mention, for a lot of you, I'm sure it's going to be getting cold here soon, so get outside and get it done. Okay, so I have them all wiped down with the bleach and water, and I'm gonna let them sit for about six minutes. That's what the direction said. So I'm gonna let them sit for six minutes, and then I'll go through and rinse them, and then let them dry. I want to thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I know your time is important, your time is precious, and I truly hope that you take something away from this video. I work really hard to create content for you guys, and I hope that I can impact your life in a positive way. I know for a lot of you, keeping a clean home can be overwhelming. With everything we all have going on in life, it's overwhelming. I get it, but hopefully I can help you. I can motivate you to get it done even if it's just one thing at a time, even if it's just little by little, we are going to get it done together. And I would love to have you guys subscribe and join my journey. I'm just a mom to three girls. And my goal is to create content where you feel like we're friends, we're cleaning together, or you just get motivation from me. Hopefully I can make things easier for you, give you some cleaning hacks or tips, but either way, we're in this together. So think about subscribing. I would love to have you guys join my journey. So this was super satisfying to clean. Um, I'm gonna let them dry out here and then I'll be able to take them inside. But guys, when was the last time you cleaned your garbage cans? Hmm, think about that. Have you ever done it? <laughs> so I want you to go out right now and let's clean them and disinfect them.
had some bar stools that needed clean. And we were talking this past weekend and I told her about my carpet cleaner and how I was going to be deep cleaning the couches. And she was like, do you think that carpet cleaner would work on my bar stools? And I was like, I'm sure it would. So I offered to go ahead and clean it for her. And I'm honestly a little excited or a lot excited. I cannot wait to see how good this machine works on these bar stools. She has two kids, and if you guys have kids, you know how dirty and messy they can be, um, especially when they're eating. So she has these um, bar stools, and you can see how, I mean, food, paint, I'm sure crafts, spills. You can see the outline of a spill right here. So yeah, pretty dirty, which is pretty standard with kids. So I am going to deep clean my couches and then take that machine to these bar stools and we'll see what we can do. This machine is really easy to use. You just fill it up with water and then you add the cleaner, which you can get from Walmart or Target, wherever. And it shows you exactly how much to add. And then you put it in the machine. And if I'm not cleaning my carpet, I just grab the attachment hose, which clips right into the machine and I get moving. And honestly, guys, the reason why I was doing this was because we were supposed to get new furniture two days after I was filming this. So that was my whole motivation in cleaning the couches. We were going to be giving this furniture away. So I wanted to make for sure it was clean before we gave it away and I was deep cleaning it. So that's what I thought when you're seeing me do this. I thought we were getting our brand new sectional in two days, but the following day on day two, later in the evening, we got a call that the furniture would not be in. It was not going to be delivered. We ordered from Macy's and they said that they had not received it from the vendor. And I know I'm probably going to get a lot of messages from you guys saying, yes, everything is backed up. You know, I mean, with everything going on in the world, yes, supply chain is, is slow. We ordered a month ago. And when they told us it was going to be delivered in a month, I was pretty shocked. I was surprised. I didn't expect that. We even got a call last week saying it was going to be delivered on September 30th. We got a call um, this day that you're seeing me film it, confirming delivery and the time. And so it was just so crazy because we're getting all these calls and emails confirming and giving us a time frame two days before it was going to be delivered. And then we got a call late night on the 29th saying we weren't going to get it. So it just was crazy. Like there's just like a lack in communication, I guess, because I even got an email on the 30th saying, confirming the time and when my couch sectional was going to get delivered. So who knows? Now they're saying December. I don't even know if I'll expect it in December. So who knows if we're going to get it, but that's why I was deep cleaning it. But either way, I got my couches deep cleaned. All of the stains were not coming out of these bar stools. So after one pass with the carpet cleaner, I put some Resolve carpet cleaner on the bar stools and I wanted to let that sit before I went back over with it. Um, but anyways, going back to the furniture, I guess we will see if we get it in Dece December. I'm honestly bummed, um, but we do have furniture. It's not like we moved into a home or we don't have furniture or whatever. So it's definitely not the end of the world. But the crazy part is we also ordered furniture in February from a company that ended up going out of business. So after six weeks, we ordered it in early February. Six weeks later, we got a call that the company went out of business and we were not getting our furniture. So I just feel like maybe we were not destined to get 
new furniture. I didn't see this coming. Oh, I should have heard Faith calling, trying to pull me out. But how do I get out? Yeah, how do I get out? I feel the pressure on me. How it's itching under my own skin. It's getting real hard to breathe. So, for one of the more satisfying parts, now this is just so far. I still have to finish the bar stools. Look at that. And I always say it looks like chocolate milk. Watch me. Just follow every move. Touch me. Let me know you wanted to Don't tell what you need And then once I was done cleaning the couches, now remember, we thought the furniture was coming in two days, so I wanted to vacuum under the furniture and dust the end tables because we were also gonna be giving those away with the furniture. And I figured while we had, had the opportunity, I might as well clean the blinds and the windows here behind the couch. Um, so I was doing that. But to dust, I was using the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray. I always switch up the scents with the time of the year, so I was using the Acorn Spice to wipe down the fake wood tables. And then I was going to dry wipe the blinds with a microfiber cloth and then use my Jaws Glass Cleaner to clean the windows. And if you want to try out the Jaws cleaning products, I do have a code for 25% off. It's Jamie25. You can see it. Um, it's down in the description. But I also want to let you know that I don't make a commission or anything off of the Jaws products. I'm just sharing it with you um, and the coupon code because I think they're great products. And I think in my video next Sunday, you're going to see me do some more updates in our home. I know a lot of you um, know that we just got our cabinets painted in our kitchen and I ordered new pendant lights um, that you see me cleaning here. So some more updated modern pen pendant lights and then I was able to get new bar stools. A lot of you guys were suggested I just paint the bar stools that we have. But the ones I went with, I wanted more of a distressed look so I could tie in the warm colors of my kitchen, but also bring in some cooler colors that I have going on throughout my home. The sectional, whenever we get it, will be gray. Um, and then our kitchen table is also gray. So you have those cool, cooler colors. Um, and these bar stools will be good because it will tie in some warm colors of the kitchen, but also some cooler co colors that we have throughout the rest of the home. So stay tuned for that video next week for some more home updates. Wait a second. I don't need you. Then why so settled? I miss with you Still it feels just like I'm waiting for Something better Wait a second I wanna stay up late With my heart in your head Maybe stay too much Cause you don't understand You got me gone You don't understand Selfish when you wake too humble, might be overzealous. Getting you in trouble. 
I know the bar stools don't look like they're much cleaner, but they were also wet. And so since they were wet, it does make them look darker, but just wait until you see what they look like when I was done. Okay, so these are the bar stools after they've had a chance to dry overnight and they are not perfect, not perfect at all, but definitely brighter. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but I was able to get most of the stains up. Like if you look closely, you can't really see any stains. I think there are some paint marks right here that I was not able to get up at all, but they look brighter and they are definitely clean So this was on day two and I wanted to clean out the carpet cleaner because as you can see there was hurt hair and dirt and all of that it gets caught in here and if I don't clean it properly then it's not going to perform well enough. So I wanted to make for sure I cleaned it out and got all of that hair out and luckily the actual cleaner comes apart pretty easily so I was able to get all of that hair out. And for out so i was using a screwdriver with cotton rounds soaked in rubbing alcohol to get into all of the hard to reach places and then i was able to actually figure out how to take the top part off so i could clean it with some dish soap and get more hair out So your tears been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you could save yourself But that's love, that's just love You should know some things will hurt And the plan for day two was to pretty much finish up upstairs by vacuuming, um, cleaning up the twins room, vacuuming in there. And then I was going to go in Avery's room, um, vacuum in there. And then I was also going to vacuum and mop downstairs and just take care of everything else that I needed to do on my list. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I will have it linked down below, but come over, find me. It's Jamie Lynn's with an S dot journey. Um, I share more about my life, more like I love to chat with you guys over there. I share more of my kids, just more of my day to day life, um, what we eat, all of that. So if you guys want to go follow me over there, I would love to chat with you. Make sure you message me and say hi. So again, that'll be linked down below.
Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool to be completely open and honest with you guys and I'm gonna show you the twins closet right now we got clothes stuff boxes clothes it's a mess you can see this right so I need to desperately go through this closet I need to go through their clothes so what the deal is right now not only are we kind of between seasons, but we're between sizes with the girls. So these are 12 months and some 18 month clothing. And right now they're between 18 months in 2T. These are all the 2T clothing. It's from this bin right here. So Avery was born around the same time of the year that the twins were. So we kept all of her clothing. So Avery has like this time of the year, fall, winter, she has a ton of 18 month in 2T clothing. And so on the cold days that we've had so far, we've just been pulling from the bin. We've been, you know, like rushing out of the door, going to soccer games, just needed like a sweatshirt or something and just pulling it from this bin. That's why all of this mess is here. So I need to desperately go through this, all of this. So that's my plan soon. Also, Look at these drawers, you guys. Real life messes. This is not organized at all. And this is Avery. Look, at, you guys, I can't even open. You guys, I can't even open it. This is bad. This is so, stay tuned. We're gonna tackle this soon. You came along. Couldn't look away Somehow you turned my so the twins actually made the mess in Avery's room. So I thought I would surprise her while she was at school and go in and clean it all up for her. She loves having them, her sisters, play with her in her bedroom. But then she hates when it gets messy because they're 18 months. So they just trash the room, you know, they don't play. They just get into everything, which I think is funny and cute at the same time that she likes them playing in there, but then she gets mad when it gets messy. So I thought I would surprise her by cleaning up in here. And then when she came home, her room would be nice and clean. And I feel like she's totally my daughter. She, you know, she does make her fair share of messes, don't get me wrong, but she doesn't like when her room is too messy. Or maybe it's just because her sisters made the mess. She doesn't like it, but I just came up here I wanted to put everything away um, and I also wanted to vacuum because she obviously has a lot of little toys up here like little Barbie pieces and all of that so 
when we let the twins play up here, we have to be really careful. You know, Mike or I, we're always sitting up here with them when they're playing, but I'm really diligent about vacuuming because I want to make for sure there's nothing on the floor because you know they're putting everything in their mouths these days. Sing these scars about to mend. And then I popped into our master bedroom and I was just picking up a few things. Um, our bedroom really wasn't too bad. I was just going to make the bed and then vacuum and try to get under the bed. So our bed has these, I don't even know what you would call them, stabilizers, like wood um, that helps stabilize the bed under the bed. So you can't move it. Like Mike and I can't pick up the bed and move it without taking it apart or we can't even lift it. So it's really difficult to be able to vacuum under here. And we have a cat who goes under there, you know, sometimes, and I'm sure the dog hair flies under there. So I have my cordless vacuum that is back to working like normal. So I wanted to try to vacuum under there as much as I could. And I've talked about this before, but I was having some issues with the Dyson cordless vacuum, but it ended up being the battery. So I called Dyson. Um, it was still under warranty because we bought it two years ago, almost two years ago in December because I got it for Christmas. But I called them. It was under warranty. So they just sent me a new battery, which was amazing. And we switched out the batteries and that was the trick because now it works amazing. It doesn't shut down on me. And I actually think it works better. It seems like it has more power. So a plus for Dyson customer service. They were so nice and I'm just happy to have my vacuum back. And then I came into the master bathroom. I was going to wipe down the vanity. Um, and while I was letting the disinfectant sit, which I love using the Jaws disinfectant, but you have to let it sit for, uh, um, I think, 10 minutes. So I went in um, to clean our toilet and I've been scoring some disinfecting wipes for the toilet, which is amazing. I like using them mainly in the toilets and I've just been lucky. The few times I've ran into Target or Walmart, they've just had them in stock and they limit you at least here to one tube. So I've only been able to get one at a time, but I'm super happy. I feel like that's a 2020 win when you get disinfecting wipes. Sometimes they're like the Target or Walmart brand, but whatever, I'll take it. So um, when I was done with the toilet, I was going to go back and wipe down the vanity and then vacuum and mop for a nice clean bathroom. But I actually forgot to wrap this video up because I was doing, um, when I was cleaning on day two, the twins were napping and then they woke up and Mike was in a meeting. So I wasn't able to end the video. So if you guys are still here, thank you. You guys are amazing. Um, I hope I motivated you and let me know down below what you're going to go do right now. Did you make a list? What are you going to go do? Like, what are you going to get done? Or maybe you're just going to relax, but either way, let me know. Thank you guys so much and stay tuned for two videos next week. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I don't know why.